Capricorn and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is a weekly read for you for the first week of August 2020 and it's going to be from the 3rd to about the 9th of August give or take a day or so. It's just a general reading to see what's on the cards for you um, what sort of energies are around you. But before we dive into the tarot I need to consult the oracle and I'm just going to pull a couple of cards from this little oracle deck to start the reading off with. So let's see what mysterious words of wisdom this oracle has for you Capricorn for the first week of August 2020. What words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Capricorn? For the first week of August 2020. What messages are there for Capricorn? For the first week of August 2020. Is there any messages for Capricorn? For the first week of August 2020. Okay, let's start with those two. Oh, you get the sweet pea. Blissful pleasure. How nice. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. The sweet pea. Blissful pleasure and oh, the red rose brings hidden secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden the sun, the moon, and the truth. So there's two, and I will just pull a third one for you. Let's just take it random. Just take that one then, it's jumping out, sort of. And the last one, you get the bellflower, gratitude. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. So, gratitude, it's the bellflower. It's all about being grateful for what you have. And secret may be revealed but you may find some blissful pleasure so there you have it and let's see what the rest of the reading shows us let's see what's on the cards for Capricorn for the first week of August 2020 messages are there for Capricorn for the first week of August 2020. What messages are there for Capricorn? Oh, for the first week of August 2020. Well, this card's filled and out, so we'll start the reading now. And it's the Ten of Wands showing a heavy load to be carried, uh, you know, a bit of a burden. You may be struggling with something that is that takes a lot of um, dexterity to con to hold together, like these cards. A bit of a heavy load on a long and winding path. Let's see what else you get. The deck's upside down. The Ten of Swords. Oh, Capricorn. Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. It looks like something has come to an ending. A difficult ending. Leaving you with a sense of lack and feeling out in the cold abandoned perhaps and with a sense of carrying a heavy burden on your own Capricorn 
Capricorn, really. Let's see. Let's see what else you get. Again, the deck's upside down. You get the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, bringing you to where you are. You get the Ten of Cups. The High Priest. And Justice are your challenges. You have the Chariot. The Lady, which is the Empress. And the Prince of Wands is your advice from Spirit. You get the King of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords in your outcome. So that shows you may be starting off in a difficult place, but your outcome is positive and uplifting, so it gets better. And you've got the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck. Um, so this shows the overall feeling of not being able to move things forward, you know, struggling on, you may have well put down your arms, you know, put down, stopped your effort, put down your tools, he's put down his little sickle, I don't know if you can see it there, and um, just put things on hold for a bit in order to gain a new perspective, uh, a see things from a different point of view and gain enlightenment so it shows here you were managing to keep things on an even keel despite the fact that around you things were a bit turbulent turbulent sorry in a time of flux you managed to maintain a status quo keep things going it shows, you know, in wanting to remain secure and um, stable, you held on to things, perhaps to the detriment of pleasures. It looks like all your focus was on keeping things balanced, keeping things secure, and. certainly keeping things um, abundant in, in regards to material value. Perhaps this may have been a problem keeping all your focus on the material side of life, on the mundane side of life. And um, totally ignoring the spiritual side. So that's brought you to a sad ending of a phase. But, you know, we always speak about with these endings, they, they open the way for new beginnings. Um, you know, the clouds begin to lift, the sun rises, a new day dawns, and that brings hope. I get a sense, though, looking at the spread, it's very difficult to feel hopeful at a time where, you know, you've, things have gotten on top of you. And it's it feels gloomy, although you may not be aware of how far you've come, of the progress you've made so far, because you may well be focused on lack, loss, defeat. The Ten of Cups echoes that, saying, you know, this is your challenge row, and as a challenge, the Ten of Cups speaks of not being able to recognize the harmony, the value that you do have, which is in simple things, in um, closeness, connectivity with, with those around you, a sense of harmony. People who don't have much on a material level may well be very rich on a spiritual or an emotional level, having people around them who love and care for them, who nurture them in return, and who can provide emotional, moral support. The high priest in the um, challenge road sort of indicates a, a need or 
a desire to um, control the situation, to get um, to get back in their power, in their seat of power. Um, so there's a sense of having lost power that you're battling with and a sense of needing justice, especially if you feel or have been wronged in any way, um, you know, struggling to get a sense of balance, certainly, but also I feel for some of you struggling with a sense that you've been unjustly or unfairly treated. Now, your advice, Ro, suggests the focus really should be on re trying to regain your sense of balance. I mean, up here in the past, it was a balance on, on a material level, just, you know, juggling, perhaps paying Peter, to, rubbing Peter to pay Paul, juggling finances, that sort of thing. But the chariot speaks of a more, a deeper, more profound sense of balance gained from taking the, the taking the reins in your life, um, setting yourself a goal, moving forward with that, but cer certainly, but also, you know, maintaining a sense of balance between spiritual, emotional, and material sides. Regaining a sense of balance. And, you know, in, in an advice row, it can be taken as a promise that you'll, you'll soon feel yourself on balance again. You'll soon feel yourself back on the road, back in the driving seat, moving forward, rising sun behind you, wind in your hair and you know things beginning to progress the lady the empress speaks of you know concentrating on the home aspect of your life nurturing um, providing what stability you can even if it's only on an emotional level but certainly providing the stability providing nurturing and generously giving to others. And that may well be, you know, generously forgiving others any injustices. The Empress is like the, the ultimate mother figure, giving, caring, nurturing, providing. And in that way, your creativity comes out, your, your sense of abundance begins to grow. Um, the Prince of Wands certainly indicates a suggestion that you um, move forward with, with new ideas, with new possibilities, with a spirit of adventure. And, um, and an enthusiasm which may reignite your passion for, for life, reignite your drive again. And get you going because certainly <clears throat> in your advice row it shows things are gonna clear up there's going to be a moment of clarity a moment of truth a victory and that may come with a message but certainly things will begin to pick up and move very swiftly so all the sense of stagnation that you may be feeling now begins to lift and things start moving swiftly forward and the king of cups shows you regaining your um, sense of emotional stability getting on top of your emotions again and being able to therefore pour nurturing into others because you're feeling better within yourself it may even suggest for some of you that um, a figure of um, gentle authority may be coming, stepping in to guide you and nurture you and help you on your way, help you move things forward and help you solve your problems with um, a decisive moment of clarity. This um, Ace of Swords is sort of directly below the justice card so it does show that you know for those of you who are seeking fairness 
or justice in any situation, you will be victorious in the long run. And I feel that with that, you know, your spirits will begin to lift or pick up and things will move forward for you. So you have your sweet pea, blissful pleasure, suggesting, advising. You look around you to find pleasure in the simplest things, in things that are not materially bound. Um, you know, enjoying the summertime, the abundance of growth around us, um, taking pleasure in the simple things. Your red rose, the hidden secret, could well be here. With the Ace of Swords, this moment of truth, something will be revealed and that may shift the energies for you and begin to put things back into motion for you. And your gratitude, so along with the sweet pea, you know, finding pleasure in simple things and being grateful for what we have. So, you know, despite difficulties around you, despite um, the struggles you've been going through, if you could lighten your heart from within by focusing on things that do bring you pleasure and finding reasons to be grateful for what you have, for where you are now, this will lift your spirits and put you back on track get you back into balance so that you can move things forward with a renewed sense of vigour and a sense of adventure. And of course, not forgetting your outcome. Things will begin to move quickly and there will be a solution, a victory, a truth revealed. And within that revealing of the truth could come victory, could be um, the movement that you're sort of lacking at the moment, the, um, the momentum that seems to have fallen flat for you <laughs> in recent days. So there you have it, Capricorn. After a dismal sense of out, being out in the cold, a sense of loss, with focusing on small things, the happy things, you may begin to bring yourself back into balance, get back on track and find that things move swiftly uh, towards a victorious outcome in the end. So that, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed your reading Capricorn and that it resonated with you and if it did please remember to hit the like button. You can also share, subscribe but certainly have a good week. And God bless you till we meet again.